Hi, I'm Mayor Greg Fisher. Are you ready to check out some great local live music right here in historic Metro Hall? Let's go! everybody. How are we doing today? Good. All right, well, I'm Greg Fisher, and I have the honor of being your mayor here in Louisville, so welcome to the Music and Art Series. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. So I've got a couple announcements to make before we get into the music. Won't be long. Uh, fun stuff. So next Tuesday, we're going to try something new outside. We're calling it the Jefferson Street Jam, and it's a lunchtime event that's including food trucks, and entertainment. So we're going to have, uh, on July the 12th, next Tuesday, we just encourage everybody to come on, bring their lunch, or buy their lunch out there, and join your friends. And we're going to feature salsa dancing at noon next Tuesday for people that like to shake it up a little bit with the Ville Casanersa and the Mundo Mix from 100.9 FM Crescent Hill Radio, which is one of our great independent radio stations. It plays a lot of good local music. Let's hear it for the Crescent Hill radio and we're trying obviously just to get people downtown and see what's going on the summertime is a wonderful time to do that so that'll be next tuesday from 11:30 to 1 food trucks and good music and if you've heard at all kind of our salsa scene in town i mean it's just a good time so if you like music and you like to shake it up come on down next tuesday all right now today is a little bit of an unusual show this is our 46th show and we're going to keep going strong. Uh, each show features great local independent uh, musicians here from Louisville, which we'll, I'll put our musicians up against anywhere in the world. And today we're going to have two bands. So today features a collaboration of Hot Brown Smackdown and Hot Iron Skillet. So they're two bands representing the second year of Grateful Dead, a celebration of Jerry and the Dead. And that's a collaboration that was founded by Denny Humphrey and Ashley Angel. I know Denny is here. Ashley, are you here? Thank you, Ashley. Good job. Got some fans in the house. And so this year's gathering is going to include over 20 bands and performers. That's the weekend of July 29th to 31st. It's at the Brown Foreman Amphitheater at uh, Waterfront Park. So uh, there's more details on the on the posters right outside. We got. You know, great music taking place in the month of July. Uh, obviously, here all around town, we got the Forecastle Festival coming up, and then we have this festival at the end of the month as well. So, if you like good music, hang out in Louisville. All right. Now, for today, I'm going to introduce kind of both bands right now. Uh, first, we're going to hear from Hot Iron Skillet. So they're going to play four songs. They're going to break. I'm going to come up, I'm going to talk to both Hot Iron Skillet and Hot Brown Smackdown while Hot Brown Smackdown sets up. Then they're going to do the second phase of the show. And I don't know if they're going to end up jamming before this thing's all over or not, but I, I hope they do. That would be a good way to close this thing out. What do you think? All right. All right, so first up is Hot Iron Skillet. They're a seven-piece band from Louisville that features guitar, mandolin, bass, drums, organ, keys, flute, saxophone, auxiliary, percussion, and vocals. In other words, it's a big sound. And so you can expect to hear funk, rock, folk, and a touch of our native bluegrass. So please welcome to the stage, Hot Iron Skillet. Thanks to uh, Mayor Fisher for giving us that introduction. Thank you, Denny and Ashley, for having us out here today. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we're going to start things off real quick for you with a familiar tune most of you all might know out there. Can't seem to face up to the facts. I'm tense and nervous and 
Oh man, there should be no political correctness. No.
to West L.A. Girl, already know what you need to know. Fisher's going to come up, and Hot Brown will come up as well here in just a second. Um, we're also going to have Hot Brown come up and play with us on this jam as well. This one's uh, Viola Lee uh, from the Grateful Dead's very first album that they released. Uh, it's actually an old traditional song, and we hope you enjoy it.
Good job. Hitting that guitar. <laughs> uh, 
All right, we're going to have a little change over here now. First time we've ever tried to do two bands. Myron and Scott, come on up here. Great, great. Sounded good back there. You couldn't resist. You had to get up and play a little bit, huh? I got asked to do it, so. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't look like they have to twist your arm or anything. Pretty much play anytime, anywhere, for the most part. Well, Hop Around Smackdowns, uh, it's a group of dudes that uh, have been playing together in different conglomerations for about a decade. So what ended up happening was, uh, gosh, I, I, I'm not real sure exactly how the band formed. I'm kind of the newcomer to the group. But when when I came into the group, all of a sudden, you know, there was just a, a really wonderful feeling about the music. I, yeah, it's big, warm, fantastic sound. So uh, they asked me in. I, now we're writing a bunch of original music. We're going to come out with an album here soon and been booking uh, tour shows. And uh, one thing will lead to the next because we've already got the highest rung of, you know, cover band gigs that we can have. We've done all the all the major festivals in the area and uh, lots and lots of private events, everything you could think of, you know, folks from like the aristocracy from Yum and I don't know, I, country clubs and I, just stuff that I would have never guessed that we would have that we'd have landed but all of a sudden that we're just that we're getting that so uh, it's, it's great because all the guys are really well educated as far as music is concerned and uh, and outside of music they're really smart guys and so the business machine is really in place so I can I can see us going really far with this sounds good we are setting quite the expectation here for you so thank you very much Scott good job up here uh, rare to see the drummer as the as the front man for the band here. So how did all that come together? Uh, well, I think Skilla came together about two years ago. Um, just a bunch of friends that were all playing music, just randomly over at people's houses, and just all of a sudden one day, let's get together and let's try to do something. Book a show, two, three. And then it all led to where we're playing around town all the time, having people ask us to come play. All of our friends come up and play with us all the time as well. We really uh, embrace an open atmosphere for playing obviously with having a bunch of hot brown members come up we always just enjoy people coming to play music that's what skillet's about just enjoying playing music whenever we can wherever we can in town and were you always influenced by the grateful dead i mean obviously you kind of start jamming out here and taking the songs on for a very long time like they used to yeah i mean we definitely all of us love the dead um or else we wouldn't be playing music probably today a lot of us wouldn't be um we take influence from all kinds of places though John plays in a couple other bands that play ska and punk music in town. I used to play in a couple of metal bands, so did our bass player, Ryan. Nick, our percussionist, plays in probably 20 bands in town, I'm sure. Uh, you'll see him all over the place. Uh, that's how it all came together. We all have our different influences, and that's what always comes together when we play music. It's a realm of everything, from one spectrum to the other is what we like to do. All right, well, that's covering a lot of space there. So let's uh, give our hand once again to Hot Iron Skillet. Thank you guys so much. So let me introduce Hot Brown Smackdown right now. We've got, it says a six-piece jam grass band, but, I mean, is it going to be more than that coming up here? Six plus? Seven. At least seven member ensemble from, yeah. from Louisville. Hot Brown has delighted concert festival goers for years, combining brightly textured, hard-driving, powerful bluegrass Poly polyphony with high energy groove and soul. I know how to say groove and soul. They love what they do, and it's evident at every show with their energy and enthusiasm and connection with the crowd. So they're here to have fun, spread the love, and also get the word out about the Grateful Dead Festival coming up here toward the end of the month. So please welcome to the stage Hot Brown Smackdown. <laughs> Tonight, I ran down to the levee, but 
the devil caught me there Took my twenty dollar bill and vanished in the air Said I'm only gonna, gonna take my time Friend of the devil is a friend of mine I get home before daylight Just my guess to sleep tonight Got two reasons why I cry away each lonely night The first one name is Ain't Marie, Marie She's my heart's delight Second one is prison, baby Sheriff's on my trail And if he catches up with me I'll spend my life in jail Guys, for coming. We're hot iron. Uh, hot, wait. We're <laughs> hot something. Hot something. Hot brown smackdown. Ah. You can catch us on the web at uh, hotbrownsmackdown.com. We've got a lot of a lot of good stuff up, and it just keeps coming. So. <laughs> get your father, get your mother, get your sister, get your brother, and a loser gonna show more good job. How to do the boogie boogie body kiss and cuts and chase checking out on the old back of line. Y'all are coming one another just to go a little further when it's over, it won't break down. Can't be fights burning in the night, the heart is turning on the side of the old can go right now.
Smashing in the cooler full of beer and watch the show. It's clogging in the horsey branches, singing petty music, playing girls are looking pretty, don't you know? Oh, look at old grandpappy, he's feeling kind of snappy, he seems like he just don't care. But he's old in 93, he's describing you and me, dancing to the music in the air. Jerry Garcia played banjo for that band. Not quite Grateful Dead, but it's close enough.
so much.
Thank you guys so much for Hot Brown Smackdown. I hope you enjoyed our great local live music, and I look forward to seeing you next time.